Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice logarithm math problem, which is x to the power of log 64 plus 4 to the power of log x, this is equal to 10. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? Solution from here, now x to the power of log 64, then plus 4 to the power of log x, this is equal to 10. Now we can express 64. This is the same thing as 4 to the power of 3. Substituting this, then we have x to the power of rog, 4 to the power of 3, then plus 4 to the power of rog x. This is equal to 10. Now, x to the power of, remember here, rog 4 to the power of 3. This is in the form of rog a to the power of n, which can be expressed as n rog a. Applying this power rule property, then we have x to the power of 3 multiplying by rog 4, then plus 4 raised to the power of rog x. This is equal to 10. Now, x to the power of 3 times rog 4. This is in the form of a to the power of m times m which we can express as a to the power of m raised to the power of n. Let's apply this exponent property so that we have x to the power of rog 4 raised to the power of 3, then plus, here we have 4 to the power of rog x, this is equal to 10. Now, the next step from here, we have that a to the power of rog to the power of rog b. This is the same thing as b to the power of rog a. We have that x to the power of rog 4. This is in the form of a to the power of rog b, which we can also express as b to the power of rog a. So applying this property, then we have that x to the power of rog 4. This can be expressed as 4 to the power of rog x. So let's substitute this so that we have 4 to the power of rog x raised to the power of 3. Then plus, here we have 4 raised to the power of rog x. This is equal to 10. The next step from here, we can let, remember 4 is to the power of rog x here is common, so we can let 4 to the power of rog x be equal to u. So that now, here we have u to the power of 3, then plus, here we have u, this is equal to 10, okay? So let's take 10 on the left hand side so that now we have u to the power of 3 plus u subtract 10. This is equal to 0. So now from here we have a cubic function here. We have u to the power of 3 plus u minus 10 which you can express as minus 8 minus 2. This is equal to 0. We can express 8. We can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3. Let's substitute this. So we have u to the power of 3 plus u minus 2 to the power of 3 minus 2. This is equal to 0. So we have u to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 3. So this is u to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 then plus u minus 2, this is equal to 0. Now, this particular part here, this is the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, which we can express as a minus b. Then here we have a squared plus ab, then plus b squared. Applying this identity, 
then u to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. This is the same thing as u minus 2. Then here we have u squared plus 2u, then plus 2 squared, which is equal to 4. Now, we have here u minus 2, then u squared plus 2u, then plus 4. Cross the parentheses, then plus u minus 2. This is equal to 0. Now we have that u minus 2 is common here. We can factor out u minus 2. So that now, here we have u squared plus 2u plus 4, then plus 1 here. This is equal to 0. So here we have two parts. The first part is u minus 2. This is equal to 0. The second part here is u squared plus 2u. Then plus 4 plus 1, this is 5. Then this is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that u is equal to 2. Because if you take minus 2 on the right hand side, this is equal to 2. Now the second part here is a quadratic equation of the form a u squared plus b u. Then plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation here, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and that c is equal to 5. So let's determine the nature of the root of this quadratic equation. To determine the nature of the root of this quadratic equation, we determine the discriminant value. The discriminant value is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Now, Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c. So that now, here we have 2 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 5. So here we have 2 squared, this is 4, minus 4 times 5, which is equal to 20. And therefore, 4 minus 20, this is equal to minus 16. And this is less than 0. So this means that here we have 2 complex roots we have two complex roots and this implies that here there will be no real solution so there will be no real solution from this quadratic equation part so this means that the quadratic equation part is rejected so this part is rejected now let's proceed with u equal to 2 so we have that u is equal to 2 now, if you recall, if you recall, we are saying that let, let u be equal to 4 raised to the power of rog x. So let's substitute u so that we have 2 is equal to 4 raised to the power of rog x. Now, we have that 4 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So this implies that here we have 2 is equal to 2 raised to the power of 2, then rog x. Now, we have that 2 is raised to the power of 1. The bases are common here, so that implies that a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m. Since the bases are common here, then this implies that n is equal to m. And therefore, here we have 1 is equal to now 2 rog x and remember that 2 is a power this 2 is a power so in this case in this case we can divide here by 2 let's divide here by 2 so that now we have that rog x is equal to half now something else to note here this is the same thing as rog to base 10, so we can introduce here rock 10. Let's introduce rock 10 here. Remember that if you have rock A, this is equal to rock B, given that they are at the base 10. In this case, we have x is equal to now. Here we'll have remember this is a power, so we have here as 10 raised to the power of 
half and therefore x is equal to square root of 10 we have x is equal to the square root of 10 now the next step is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation now since x is equal to the square root of 10 or x is equal to 10 to the power of half then we can verify if you recall if you recall we entered x to the power of rog 64 then plus here we have 4 to the power of rog x this should give us a value of 10 this should give us a value of 10 so let's substitute the value of x here which is 10 to the power of a half now here we have 10 raised to the power of a half then raised to the power of rock 64 then plus we have 4 raised to the power of rock 10 to the power of a half this should give us a value of 10. now from here we can express 64 as 2 to the power of 6. Now, from here, we can substitute here. We have 10 raised to the power of half, then raised to the power of rho, 2 to the power of 6, then plus. Remember, we can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2. So we have 2 to the power of 2. Then we have rock 10 raised to the power of a half. This should give us a value of 10. Now, remember rock 2 to the power of 6 and rock 10 to the power of a half. This is in the form of rock a to the power of n, which we can express as n rock a. Applying this power rule property, then here we have 10 to the power of a half. Then list to the power of this 6, then rock 2. Then plus, here we have 2 to the power of 2 times, we have a half times a half. Then we have rock 10. This is supposed to give us a value of 10. Now, the next step from here, we can simplify 6 by 2. This is 3. So we have 10 raised to the power of 3, rock 2, then plus, here we have 2 and 2 here simplifies, so we have 2 to the power of rock 10, this is supposed to give us a value of 10. The next step from here, 3 is the power, so we can take 3 here, so we have 10 raised to the power of rock 2 to the power of 3, Remember, this is under base 10. Then plus, this is 2 to the power of rock 10. Remember, this is to base 10. This is supposed to give us a value of 10. The next step from here, we have that rock 10 list power rock 2 to the power of 3 to base 10. This is in the form of A. We can have this A raised to the power of rock B to base A. This should give us a value of B. So applying this property, then we have 10 list power of 2 to the power of 3 to base 10. Then we have 2 to the power of 3. Then plus rock 10 to base 10. Remember rock 10 to base 10. This is equal to 1. So here we have 2 to the power of 1. This should give us a value of 10. 2 to the power of 3. This is 8. Then plus 2. This should give us a value of 10. So 8 plus 2, this is equal to 10, which is equal to 10. And this implies that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. And therefore, the value of x here, which is the square root of 10, or 10 to the power of a half, satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please like this video, and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.